Hello, Sagittarius Collective. What's up? I hope y'all having a great weekend. I am having a fabulous weekend. You know, the weather is beautiful. Chilling, chilling with my son because my daughter is in Idaho. Hopefully, she's having a great time, which I know she is. It don't take much for her to have a good time. Well, Sag, 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 my wonderful Sag. Let's see what's going on with your person, okay? I want to see what's going on with them, how they feel about the situation that they had with you, the one that's in your life, or your ex. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, okay? Let's see what's going on with Sag's person. Then, Sag, I'm going to see what's going on with y'all. Get some little wisdom oracle cards to see what's going on. Tap into the energy. See what you got coming for you. Hopefully, it's some great stuff. I did um, a Sag reading like maybe last week or two weeks ago about the good things coming in. My, my best friend is a Sag. She got two job opportunities in one day when we were food shopping. Two job opportunities in one day. And I was talking about that. So hopefully all those things that we've been talking about is going to come into fruition because we are learning. We are growing. We are evolving. We are hiring I mean, not hiring, but lifting up our frequency. You know, we're raising our vibration. That's what I mean. We are raising our vibration. And as we vi raise our vibration and we flow in the energy of unconditional love and abundance, we are going to be getting a lot of things to us. My, 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 um, my rising is in Sag. I, 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 I resonate more with Sagittarius readings and Leo readings because I'm not Leo. Um, Libra readings because um, my north node is in Libra and I have other Libra placements. So let's see what we got for Sag's person. Sag's person. Ooh, I got the King of Coins. King of Coins is showing up. Showing up and showing out. Mm, let me stop. <laughs> sometimes you got to be your own fun. Not sometimes. All the times you got to be your own fun. Otherwise, you're going to be chasing people to entertain you, looking for validation, looking for fun when you can be your own fun. You know, I got the king of coins for Sag's person, Daddy Warbucks, okay? What I, what I get for, what else we got for Sag's person? But what I get from this king of coins is I get him balancing everything on his back. Is this tortoise? You know, he got this coin on the side of him. He got this big old tree on top of him with these plants growing from the top and the roots deep. So he is deeply rooted into and grounded, I hear. Grounded and founded. Okay, king of coins, come through. Prosperity, I get from him. Growth, I get wisdom. I got. I get enlightenment. What else we got for a Sag's person? Okay. Okay, Sag, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this story that you that's going on with your person? Okay, here we go. Five of Cups. Sad. Your person is sad. I hear overwhelmed. I hear your person is overwhelmed, crying their eyes out, sad because of what they lost. Because of what they lost, they feel sad for what they lost. I don't know if they sad because they lost you or what other situation they had going on, but they feel sad. But if they was to turn around, they will see these two cups in the back of them. But guess what? They don't need to see the two cups in the back of them because it ain't time yet. It's not time for them to see these two of cups yet because they still have to get right within and understand that everything that you lost was meant to be lost. Some things are supposed to be lost because you're supposed to learn from those things. Not dwell into what you lost. What did you gain? What did you learn? And what you gained should have been the learning part of how you got yourself into the situation, what happened, what transpired, what did I learn from this, what didn't I pay attention to. That's where the gift is at. But your person is sad. Your person is sad and it's understandable. Seven of Coins. Ooh, seven of coins, fire. Look at this fire on this. 
the seven of coins. Look, look how high that fire is. I get a lot of fire off of this card. Close to it too. Like they, they, they look how close they are to this fire. So whatever this seven of coins is or was, they felt they felt good in it. They felt protected in it. And not only that, corn is growing up. Look at look at the fruits growing up. Whatever the seven of coins was to your person, which we're gonna clarify because I want to know for sure. Okay. There was warmth, there was fruits being bared, different types of fruit. Not not fruit, like vegetables, corn. Different colors too. So this seven of coins wasn't was was good. What it looked like to me. Then I got the eight of coins. There's a lot of coin energy going on here. This person must got a lot of um, earth in their chart. I'm getting a whole lot of coin energy, a lot of earth. So I got the eight of coins. But this eight of coins. Every time I look at this eight of coins, this lady is. Holding on to these eight of coins and it's made out of thorns. Thorns. Her feet is pricked and so is her fingers. She's she doesn't look happy. She she doesn't look impressed. If anything, she looked like she's tired of the shit. So whatever this investment was. I don't think your 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 your, your person enjoyed it. And it looked like she crying. Her face is all pinched. And then you got the birds above her head telling her, like, bitch, drop those coins. Drop that. Stop stop putting into things that's not serving you. Whatever she was, this your person was putting into was bringing them pain. Torture. It was, it was, this, wasn't, this wasn't a good investment that they was investing in. They was investing themselves into something that brought them pain and torture. I don't like that um, eight of coins. And not only that, I get that these birds, I get these birds being their intuition, telling them, like, stop investing into this. You're not going to get anywhere. Look at your hands. Look at your feet. <laughs> Look at your hands. Look at your feet. But you in pain. You can't even go nowhere. First of all, you can't open the door and you can't walk. I mean, where you going? Now you all messed up. You put yourself in a situation that's hard to get out of. That's what I got. They put themselves in a situation that was hard to get out of. So I got the seven of coins for they were investing. They was feeding into something that they thought was going to bear fruit. That they thought that was going to grow into this luscious, warm fire. But it did not. It did not grow into this luscious, warm fire that they're going to feel comfortable underneath. That was going to bear all this vegetable and fruit. No, it didn't turn out that way. I got the moon card. We know that with the moon card is secrets. Secrets, secrets, secrets. There was some secrets going on within your person and whoever they were investing in. Whoever and whatever this person was investing in, there was a there was no equal give and take. There was hardship, there was pain, there was no loyalty, there was nothing. Or whoever was getting all this investment put into them, they were happy. Because your person was feeding into something that wasn't feeding into them. And I get that's why y'all relationship or whatever it was wasn't working. Ooh, okay, what else spirit we got for the saddest person? Come on, tell me about the saddest person. Okay, I'm going to have to start. Oh, no. I didn't, I didn't think that was going to... I asked, right? If you ask, you better be ready to receive. And I did ask. Four swords. This card kind of creeps me out too because look at this wolf. This wolf is stabbed through the mouth. This is the four swords. Yeah, you, you need the rest because you've been through a lot. You've been through a mental war. You've been through a physical war. But this actually depicts depicts being through some shit why is this wolf stabbed through the mouth damn 
And you can't even communicate what you've been through. I feel like you can't even communicate. You can't even tell nobody what it is you've been through. What happened to you. And you tied up and bound and gagged with a with a um knife through your mouth. You can't even tell nobody what it is you've been through. Oh, you don't want to tell nobody what you've been through. But it was brutal. Five of wands. People arguing and fighting about other people's business. Yeah, I'm going to say that again because I feel like it was a whole bunch of people arguing, being in somebody else's business that they ain't have no place being. But guess what? This king of coins invited these people into their business. They've been doing this for a very long time. Loose lips sink ships. You can't let your enemies know what you're doing. You can't let your enemies know what's going on. And that's why they got snaked. Because these people that you thought was your people was not the people. These people had bad intentions for your, your person, Sag. Your person didn't know that, though. But they, they gonna learn today. What you say? They gonna learn today. Knight of Wands. We know the Knight of Wands is a young energy. Rush in, rush out for a good time, not a long time. Impulsive energy. Just chasing the next next best thing off of looks. Off of looks and words. Without seeing actions. This person was investing into things. Chasing things because of what it looked like. Because of what it looked like. And not because of what it was. They found out what it was later on though. I'll tell you that much. And then left them like this. Mm-hmm. And that eight of, eight of coins energy with all these secrets going on. All right, what else we got for sad? The wheel of fortune has been coming out. People, people been getting they um not so good fortune and good fortune. People, it, it depends on where you wind up out the wheel, meaning what intentions you've been putting out there, what good you've been doing, or what bad you've been doing. So if you've been getting good fortune, it's because you've been putting good intention out there. So you've been getting good karma. But if your ass been getting your ass served to you, that means you've been putting bad intentions and bad energy and not doing so good. But guess what? You can always change the wheel. You can always change the wheel depending on what you do. So this can be changed. But you still gonna get your ass whooped for what you did. And then I got the page of swords. I get a message. I get a message. Something was said, something was told about these secrets and these illusions, all these lies and this fighting and arguing and this, this, this puppeteering pulling strings. Something was told, something was found out. What else we got for Sagittarius person? What else we got for the Sagittarius person? Thank you, spirit. Oh, I got the seven of wands in reverse. There was no boundaries. Sad, your person had no boundaries. Seven of wands, no boundaries. Was not protecting themselves. What Was not protecting themselves. That was a big lesson learned. Not healing. Not taking the time to go within and heal themselves. Star energy in reverse. And like I said, I got everything on the board. I got water, I got earth, I got fire, and I got air. So we got all the signs on the board. But this is for Sagittarius person. And you already know, our birth chart is made up of all different types of signs. So let's find out, okay? Let's find out about this moon card. Spirit, tell me about this moon card. Tell me about this moon card. Let's find out about this moon card. Tell me about this moon card. Thank you, Spirit. Two of coins. Two of coins. So whatever was going on with this moon card, I got the two of coins. They needed balance before. Now they got it. They got total balance. And I said that with the king of coins i told you this king of coins is trying to get his balance back trying to get everything taken care of because this person didn't have that balance 
Now they got two of coins. Balance. Getting things balanced. Back, no juggling. Tell me about this eight of coins, spirit. Eight of coins. Tell me about this eight of coins for Sag's person. Sun, moon, and rising. Sag, y'all got some good energy. Your person got some good energy. Because whatever energy I'm pulling on right now, I'm feeling good in the neighborhood. Okay? Ooh, Sag, your person must smoke. Because your person feel high right now. Okay? Listen, I don't knock nothing. Just whatever you do, do it responsibly. Be responsible about what you do. But I'm feeling like your person is high. <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. So I got for the eight of coins, I got the queen of coins. And that's why this person was not happy. Pricked in the fingers, pricked in the feet. Not happy with investing into this queen of coins. I mean queen of arm swords. Tell me about this queen of swords. Tell me about this queen of swords spirit. Tell me about this queen of swords. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see my face? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got page of wands in reverse. Mm-hmm. Whatever that your person rushed off to, this queen of swords. There was no passion. There was no good opportunity there. There was nothing but manipulation of one's emotions of one's passions there was no there was no growth there was no substance with this queen of swords then i got the eight of wands how did i pick that up i picked that up like that it came it happened quickly it happened quickly wherever they rushed off to whoever they chose wherever they went back to there was lackluster is what i heard lackluster oh gosh I just, mm, I'm like, mm, mm I'm not trying to be with nobody with, there's no passion. There's no growth. There's no, like, come on. There was none of that there. Tell me about, tell me about this four swords. I just easily got disgusted. Tell me about this four swords, spirit. Tell me about this four swords. Thank you, spirit. I'm like, uh-uh. The Hierophant. Whatever went on with this Four of Swords, Sag, your person is not following tradition no more. They're not doing none of this for people, places, and things no more. They are breaking out of the norm for them, and they're going, they going with themselves. They are going against the grain. They are no longer conforming to people, places, and things is what I hear. Because all it got them was backstabbed and betrayed. That's it. So I got the Hierophant in reverse. Nah, they're going outside of the norm. They're not doing it like that no more. Tell me about this Five of Cups. I want to know why this person was sad. Tell me about this Five of Cups for a saddest person. That's one of the cups. So let me let it come out. Nine of Swords. You see this, le this lady levitating. You see all these people scared for her. Okay. This person was having nightmares. This person was getting in tune, getting enlightened while they was having this lack of sleep. They were still getting in tune. They were still getting in tune, even though they were going through it. They were still getting in tune with their higher power, whatever was going on. There was a different type of power going on with this Nine of, nine of Swords. This heartbreaking and, and sadness, ooh, Woke this person up. This person got woken up by this, whatever betrayal this was, whatever heartbreak, heartbreak this was. This person woke up on a spirit, spiritual, spiritual line, spiritual awakening. Whatever it was, it woke this person up to everything that they were doing wrong and everything that was being done wrong to them. Tell me about these five of wands, nosy ass people. Tell me about these five of wands hating ass people. Because that's what I get. Oops. Five of wands hating ass people. Backstabbers and betrayers. Whatever it was, this person is walking away. <clears throat> they had enough of this bullshit. These fake, this fake, this is fake love. This is love with conditions. 
this this eight of cups is what I call love with conditions. This person, your person, Sag, is walking away from these fake ass people that only love them de depending on what they do for them and how they listen to them. And they, I got the three of wands waiting for their ships to come in. Matter of fact, this person is not even waiting. Look how this person is getting themselves out of the way. They going after what they want. They not even waiting for their ships to come in. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. And I, and I listen, do what you got to do. You are the co-creator of your own life. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? If you going towards something that's good for you, it's going to work out great for you. Because you, you doing it with good intention for yourself. And that's all God wants. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Ooh, your person got some good energy, Sag. I don't know if it's your person or a combination of the Sag's collective and the person. Because, child, whatever they been through, they ain't mad. They ain't mad and they ain't sad. <laughs> you better get glad. <laughs> I feel like this person is feeling okay. Five of Swords. Whatever they rushed in, off into with impulsive energy, being impulsive without thinking, chasing what looks good instead of knowing what feels good here and here. Okay? If it don't feel good in here, if it don't feel good in here, don't let it come near here, okay? Don't go, don't, don't lead with your sexual energy towards nothing. And if anybody ever try to lead with sexual energy towards you, that's the biggest red flag of all. Because that, that's how they go into situations with sexual energy. No. What, what, what you got in here first? How you, how do you handle here first? How do you take care of you as a whole? This should be the last thing to come into play. Sexual energy. So whatever they rushed off into, were off a of passion, left them in this five of swords. You know why? Because they seen this person exactly for who they were and they still rushed into it. They still rushed into them knives. They deceived themselves and they let this person deceive them again. So you got to take accountability of that for your own actions. And this is what I'm talking about. Tell me about this wheel of fortune. Give me the wheel of fortune. Thank you, temperance. Spirit said, what I have for you, I can't give to you right now because you got to clean it up. You got to get yourself back on the right track. And whatever you supposed to get, will get you will get once you temperance yourself, once you heal yourself, once you take accountability of everything that you've gone through and everything that you put yourself into. So whatever they supposed to get, it's being temperance. But they are learning their lesson. Because they ain't got no other choice. Tell me about this. Oops. Tell me about this page of swords. Page of swords, spirit. Tell me about this page of swords, spirit. Okay. Thank you, spirit. I got six of cups. Whatever message they got was about something from the past. Nostalgia. Something they thought that was lost. I heard something that they thought was lost. They got a message about something they thought was lost. That they thought they messed up on. I got nine of coins. Single and abundant. Whoever... Or whatever this message was pertaining to, it was about somebody single and abundant. Somebody they have good nostalgia with. Somebody that they care for. Somebody that they know cares for them. Somebody that they know wants the best for them. That's what I'm getting. And Sag, this could be y'all. I think this is y'all. Because this is for talking about your person. They want to celebrate with you. Tell me about this seven of wands in reverse spirit for Sag's person. Ooh, I got the emperor. This emperor had no boundaries. This emperor had no boundaries when it came to these people. These freaking seven of wands people. These freaking five of wands people. They had no boundaries when it came to them. But that's why you got to learn. If they didn't go through this whole situation, they wouldn't have learned nothing. They would have repeat. They would have did this in another situation. 
No, it was time to learn from this situation. Because whatever you don't learn, you're going you gonna to learn it eventually. Everybody you're going to run into contact with is going to teach you that very lesson until you learn it. Tell me about the star card, spirit. In reverse. Star card in reverse, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Queen of coins. Okay. This person, which is this queen of coins... I got the queen of coins and I got the king of coins. This is matching sweet energy. This could be a relation. Well, it was a relationship. It was a relationship. A relationship that was supposed to be founded and rooted. But it was not. This king of coins was carrying this whole relationship on his back. This king of coins was balancing everything on his back. This king of coins was the only one putting in good energy and effort towards this relationship with this queen of coins and this queen of coins was not healing this is this queen of coins was not healing tell me about this queen of coins spirit queen of coins what's going on with her before i start talking crap Ooh. eight of swords in reverse eight of swords in reverse she's not up in her head about no situation she ain't up in her head about what should happen. Tell me about this Eight of Swords in Reverse spirit. She is not up in her head about it. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Oops. About what the about this King of Cup energy that she was in. Ooh. This Queen of Coins, which is somebody's baby mother, could be somebody's mother. Somebody really close to them was in the king of cups in reverse energy very manipulative very controlling just just horrible horrible and this person is not even sorry about what what they did hey it is what it is that's her karma i got the i got the tower card at the bottom of the deck tower to this four cups let's see what else Yo, yep, I got the tower card. And you know what? Mm -mm -mm. What else we got for this energy spirit? What else we got? Nine of cups. It was not wish fulfillment. It was not wish fulfillment where they went. It was no wish fulfillment. I got the nine of cups in reverse. Wherever your person went, Sag, there was no wish fulfillment. There was none of that. I'm going to get some Wisdom Oracle cards. But like I said, they had a lesson to learn. That's what's going on with your person, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. They had a lesson to learn. Believe me, they learned their lesson. So it is what it is. Everybody, we all on this journey of learning. And the only way we will learn is through trials and tribulations and pain. So that way you don't have to keep making the same mistakes. So that way you can get what you want. But if you won't, if you don't have all the tools, how are you going to get what you want? This is what helped them get all the tools. And not only this, this is going to teach them what not to do to others. Because it didn't feel good to them. And that's what I feel like they did to you. They weren't honest with y'all. What else we got for Sag person? They were not honest, honest with y'all. They was not transparent with y'all. They didn't even know how to do that. Okay, so this was what I got for the sad person. I got not for you. Yes, this person, this queen of coins was not for them, clearly. But this queen of coins was the lesson that they needed to know and learn so they can know what is for them okay they played this game with this queen of coins and they found out exactly what they already knew not for you so don't hold no resentment to your person sag male or, 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 or feminine please your person have learning to do just like we all have learning to do and if you choose not to take them back that is that is your choice because we all have free will but if this person does the healing and you still have unconditional love for them, then if God puts y'all together again, 
make it work. If, if y'all choose not to, then go about your own way. It's that simple. And I got go to distance. God said this relationship with them can go to distance. God is telling them, Sag, your person, that this relationship that they have with y'all can go the distance. And then I got the fates. And that came out crossing, and I'm going to leave it that way. Because depending on what you choose, depending on what your person chooses, Sag, will lead to the fates. Upright, not crossing. So the ball is still in their court. And they also got their wheel of fortune on temperance, depending on what they do. Okay? Because we all got free will, baby. Okay? We all got free will. And then I'm going to see how my wonderful Sag feels about their person. You know? I just want everybody to know that we are on a healing journey. We come into this world to heal, to learn, to grow, and to evolve. Nobody is exempt from learning, growing, and evolving. That's how you learn through what you've been through, through your trials and tribulations. So don't judge nobody for what they've been through, and don't allow nobody to judge you for what you go through. As long as you learned your lesson for it, and you came out the winner, okay, like my Sag best friend say, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> long as you came out the winner in your situation, that's all that matters. And I mean the winner here, meaning you took something home. You learn, you grew, you evolve from it. And you can go into another situation, see those red flags and be like, nah, I'm good. Thank you, though. Nah, everything's cool. Because now you see that energy of not, not understanding, not knowing what they're doing. Not having all the tools to handle you in the manner that you want to be handled. And I'm walking away from people, places, and things because you're not going to handle me anyway. I never said you could. And I never said you are going to. Okay? I don't care how much I love you. I'm going to still love you as I'm moving on with my life. My love ain't going to change for you, but I'm going to still move on. People be getting it twisted. Okay, spirit. Let's. What do we have for the Sag Collective? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. How do they feel about their person, spirit? How do the Sag Collective feel about their person? Ooh, chop, chop, chop. Okay. I got, I had that, that came out in reverse. Breathe. So y'all breathing is good. Y'all understand. Y'all are aware of everything that's going on. Y'all been taking good care of yourselves. Y'all been paying attention and y'all been learning and y'all been growing and y'all have been evolving. I have building blocks. Like I said. Y'all have been learning. Y'all have been growing. Y'all have been evolving. Life is happening to you. For you. For your highest good. I'm going to say that again. Life is happening to you. For you. For your highest good. I got orphaned. Sag, I hopefully you don't feel like you're orphaned. Nobody can't abandon you. The trick is as long as you don't abandon you. Your higher power didn't abandon you. So, you are good. You're nobody's orphan. I also have a chance in the a change in the wind. I got a change in the wind that was in reverse. An unfinished symphony. So, let's see what Spirit wants to say about that. A change in the wind. An unfinished symphony. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. If you know, then you know. I feel like the Sag Collective is very intuitive. Very intuitive. I feel like y'all use y'all third eye more than most. I feel like y'all use y'all third eye more than most. Tell me about this unfinished symphony for Sag spirit. Unfinished symphony for Sag. Okay, uh, I just had to pause because I be knowing what I'm talking about. First card on the board, High Priestess. Didn't I not say y'all very intuitive? Y'all use y'all intuition like nobody else? Y'all use that third eye like waking up and breathing every day? Y'all are extremely in tune. 
extremely aware. Y'all know that this is a healing journey. And that we are all imperfectly perfect. That this is about learning, growing, and evolving. Getting rid of resentment. Not holding grudges. Being okay with what you're going through and just learning from it. Very intuitive, like I said. What else we got for Unfinished Symphony? Thank you, Spirit. The Emperor. I got the High Priestess. The High Priestess and the Emperor. Y'all have an Unfinished Symphony. Yes, y'all do. Yes, y'all do. Thank you, Spirit. Hold on. Let me continue. This Emperor won another chance, but y'all know that because y'all are the High Priestess. This Emperor just got some cleaning up to do. It was building blocks. They were learning stones. And it's okay, man. We are all imperfect. We don't know everything. We have to go through it in order to learn from it so we can get through it. Stop, stop passing judgment on people. Whatever you see, when you see a red flag come up, you don't have to walk into the red flag and say, hey, what is this? No, you can see it, step back, and remove yourself. Don't walk into the lion's den. Make sure that door is locked. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was locked. Oh, shake it. All right, it's locked. And keep it pushing. You don't open the door and go in and lock yourself in. No. Tell me about this change in the wind in reverse, spirit. Change in the wind in reverse. Change in the wind in reverse. Thank you. Oops. I don't want that to fold out. I got the five of coins. Feeling left out in the cold. Feeling left out in the cold. Don't feel left out in the cold. Don't feel left out in the cold. Getting the finances together. Okay. Somebody feels left out in the cold from this. Ooh. Somebody feels left out in the cold from this Ten of Pentacles situation. Sag, this is your person. Your person feels left out in the cold from this ten of, ten, ten of coins in reverse. Tell me about this ten of coins in reverse. Ten of coins in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. The star card. Star, spirit said, yes, this is your person, Sag. Your, your person felt like they can heal this ten of coins. They couldn't. That's why it says a change in the wind, but it was in reverse. Your person felt left out in the cold from this community. From this family that they thought they could heal and they couldn't. Tell me about the orphan card, spirit. Tell me about the orphan card. Thank you. Tower. Hold on. I got the Knight of Wands. We already know the Knight of Wands rushes in for passion or for instincts. This can be chasing the opportunity. But whatever it was, chasing the opportunity, whatever it was, led to the Tower. Led to the tower. Tell me about that tower card, spirit. Led to the tower. Eight of swords now up in their head. And look at this eight of swords. With this more healing, this star card. More healing. Tell me about the eight of swords, spirit. Eight of swords. It was not a passionate new start. It was not a passionate new start. I got the ace of wands in reverse. Exactly. That's why your person is left up in their head. Tell me about this building block, Spirit. Tell me about the building blocks. Thank you, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Knave of Cups in reverse. Being manipulative when it comes to love. Not knowing what love is. Being naive in love. Not having the tools to know what love is. This is, this is love on conditions. This is not unconditional love. Your person had a building block. They didn't know what love is. They loved the way they love was conditioned. The way they knew about love was conditioned because that's what they saw and that's what was taught to them. And that's how that's the reason why they loved you that way. Because that's what they that's what they that's all the tools they had. They didn't have no other tools to go off of of how to manipulate people who love you to get what you want. And that's the energy your person was in. What else you got for building blocks? What else this person had? Four cups. But it came in reverse. Hold on, my nose. I'm channeling whenever I channel. Ooh, my nose start to run and itch. And I 
and I don't have allergies. But whenever I start tapping in too much, stuff start itching and running. And I mean my nose. But yes, four cups. This person is getting over what had them sad in love. They are no longer four cups sad in love. What else we got for building blocks, spirit? What else we got for building blocks? The hermit card. Your person ne needed to go within. Your person never went within and to heal themselves. Now your person is healing. Your person is going within. Tell me about the breathe card, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I love you. Spirit be telling me the older info. Putting an ending. Putting a death. Putting a death to whatever they need to put it. And not only that, before they needed to breathe because they wasn't sure. They wasn't sure what they should do. So they needed a lot of... um. What's that word I'm looking for? Encouragement. That they was doing the right thing. Whatever that ass whooping they got now, that was all the encouragement they knew, they needed. They know this person was not for them. So now they putting an end to people, places, and things that don't serve them. And look how this look how this person on this death card is leaving the bodies behind. Because these are the people who is trying to take them down. And they're going to continue to go forward. Then I got judgment. Judgment was called. Judgment was called to this situation because this was a bad deal this person was dealing with. And whatever they were doing was a bad deal. Judgment was called. The mirror got put in their face so they could see exactly who and what they've been to you and to others also. And this King of Wands. Yes, this King of Wands. Passionate, fiery, charisma, good looking. The Finessa. Oh yeah, this person was a Finessa. And this person got finessed. Single and abundant, working on their finances. Tell me about this king of coins. Oops. Scared to take a leap. Scared to take a leap. This, yeah, And it's understandable. You've been through a lot. Tell me about this fool card in reverse. Tell me about this fool card in reverse, spirit. Yup. Scared to take a leap. And that's understandable. This is crossing, so I'm going to take it. Two of Wands, knowing they need to make a decision. But they, 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 they're getting it together. They're getting it together. Navy Swords, they know they, they need to come in being honest and blunt and transparent. They're getting it together. Eight of Coins, because they know they want to invest in something good. They know they want to invest in something good. Because now they know better. And what they say, when you know better, you do better. Okay, so now I got my um Hip-Hop Queens. I want to see what I got for this information right here. Sag, this told about you and your person. It still was telling you about your your person the most. Because this person wants another chance with you. I don't know how many chances you gave this person, but your person wants another chance with you. Which you know that because you are the high priestess. You know everything that's going on with this emperor. What we got for the Sag Collective? Okay, come on. New cards, so they stick it. Sag Collective. What we got for the Sag Collective spirit? Then I need to go make my son this stew and make me some fish. Sag Collective. I am a pescatarian. I only eat fish. Try to lay off starches too. What else we got? Okay. About to take those too. All right. I got peace. Sad. Your person just wants peace in their life. Peace, peace, peace. And I got peace with, with that other deck that I, I had for your person. Your person just wants peace. You just want peace. You know, Moni love. Okay? Go Moni. And then I got Lauren Hill, inspiration. Sag, I feel like you've been an inspiration to your person. You don't know how much you inspired your person. You haven't had much communication with your person, but your person been watching you. Your, your person's been watching you, absorbing, learning from you. They ain't never come across nobody like you before. They thought that you was going to be just like the others, and you were not. That's why you should never, never judge a book by its cover. Never judge nobody because you just don't know how rare the inside the book is, how valuable 
you have been an inspiration to your person and your person is grateful. And one day they're going to tell you how grateful you, they are to you because you've been nothing but good to them. And they're sorry that they hurt you. A spirit is telling me to get those other cards and I am. They're sorry that they hurt you. They're sorry that they took you for granted. They sorry that they, they, they didn't see your value and your worth. They sorry that they didn't know how precious you are, how precious you are. And they wish that you can give them another chance. They will do whatever they can because they know they got to heal themselves in order to get what they need, in order to show you how, what you deserve. They got to come from a place of love for themselves because your person didn't have that for themselves. Your person didn't love themselves in a the manner that they were portraying themselves to. But if you was paying attention, you will see by their actions and the, how they were moving. They didn't have no self-love. Nobody never taught them that. You taught your person self-love by the way you took care of yourself, by the way your boundaries were, were high. Your person didn't ex expect that. That was a channel message. I felt that. I, I felt like crying just now. <laughs> I gotta get. I gotta get it together. <laughs> I got defense. Roxanne Shante, and we already know Roxanne Shante's story. You see, you know how they manipulated her. Her boyfriend manipulated her and tried to stop her from being the best she was supposed to be. You know that. That's how it was for your person. Your person had a lot of people trying to stop them from being the best that they could be because they knew they could be good. They knew they was good quality. But they needed your person to think that they weren't. So they beat them down. They made them vibe in a negative, toxic energy because they made them think that that's what it was about. That's how everybody was living. You showed them different. You were such an inspiration to this person because your person didn't know. Your person didn't understand. And they felt they felt stupid and shame. They felt shameful to say that they didn't know that. They thought everybody was the same. I got healing. And we all know Mary J's Bly's story. She been through it. She been through it. But look at her now. Good morning, gorgeous. What she say? Good morning, gorgeous. She found self-love for herself. And that's how it be because she went through the trenches. Trials and tribulations and pain will make you a fucking winner. A warrior. A warrior. Don't ever let nothing that you've been through stop you from being the best you you can be. Pressure bust pipes and it forged diamonds. Dynasties. Keep that in mind. Don't ever let go of regret. Let go of shame. Heal yourself. And then I got strength. For me, an ex. Strength. Only the strong survive. Only the strong elevate. Only the strong evolve. Only the strong take that pain and change it into greatness take that pain and change it into greatness use that strength that wisdom and that knowledge that you attain from all those trials and tribulations and fucking shine bright grow evolve and keep going forward and whoever supposed to be with you will follow you you ain't gotta drag nobody you ain't gotta bring nobody with you you just be that beacon of light and people will follow you because of it. Because we all got a story to tell. We all got a story to tell and we watch these people with these stories to tell every day be great. These are the stars we look up to. How about you be the star for yourself and look up to yourself? Because you're going to be great. I don't know who you are, but you're going to be great. I feel it. I got innovation. Missy Elliott. Innovate change. Innovate change. Innovation. People are watching you. People are going to learn from you. People are going to grow from you. People want to know what your story is. You can do whatever you want. The ball is in your court. You are the co-creator. Create your own life to what you want. Never stop. Missy Elliott was such an innovator. She created her own stage. She created her own platform. And I got humor. 
Tierra Whack. Humor. Always bring light into the situation. Humor. Humor will help you get far. And make sure you laugh at yourself too. Like, girl, you fucking crazy. That was stupid. But what did we learn from it, baby? What did we learn? Use humor. Humor what you get you by. Sometimes you gotta laugh at yourself like, damn, that wasn't that wasn't cool. But that's okay. Use humor. I, I stay cracking myself up. You can't tell me I'm not a comedian. My kids always be like, you ain't funny. No, but I am though. No, I really am. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, okay? Because I'm the funniest person I know. I'm the funniest person I know. So I don't know what they be talking about. I use humor to get me through all kinds of situations. And I don't have a problem laughing at myself like, damn, girl. You be, you be, you be getting us into some situations now. I be getting myself into some situations. And I be getting my ass right up out of those situations like I have oil on me. I be slipping right through like, nope, not for me. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, nope, not for me. Let me slide through. Thank you. I'm, I'll be out. Mm -mm. I ain't staying with nothing that ain't trying to level me mentally, physically, and emotionally. I got to learn from you. We got to learn from each other. We got to co-create together in order to keep striving, to keep evolving, to keep growing. Especially in your connections. That's another topic. I'm not even going to get into that. What else, spirit? Okay, like I said, and then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go. But your person got a lot of stuff they want to say to you, Sag. Okay, I'm gonna take that. That's it because if this whole deck will come out, okay. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. You're the first thing on my mind when I wake up, and you're definitely throughout my mind you run throughout my mind throughout the whole day every time I turn around you're on my mind I can't stop thinking about you I miss being around you I miss speaking to you I miss communicating with you I miss smelling you I miss the sound of your voice something that I would have never thought I would hear myself say I got, I love you. Your person loves you. And they wish they would have told you that more often. Now all they want to do is tell you that they love you. And that they miss you. And that they sorry. Your person is extremely sorry. Extremely sorry. I heard pitiful. I, <laughs> I heard your, your person feels pitiful. That's okay. It was a lesson. You know, and they hope they didn't mess it up totally. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, it happens that way. Your first, your person is scared that you are leaving them behind. They got to catch up. Can't leave what's for you. You got to do the healing work in order to, to catch up. I don't react when people mention you. Yeah, people mention you a lot, Sash, to this person because they want to get a reaction out of them. They want to make them feel some kind of way. To see, test their temperature is what I hear. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, that's that unconditional love they want to feel. They want to feel that unconditional love. There ain't nothing like it. That's a real drug that you can live on forever. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, they scared because they feel shame. They feel guilt. They feel regret because of what they've been through or what they put you through. And that's understandable. You and I were too young. Yeah. Y'all wasn't not in age wise, but mentality wise, understanding the tools to have a healthy relationship. Y'all had a lot of healing to grow together, which y'all did. And when it was time for y'all to go y'all separate ways, spirit made sure y'all was able to go y'all separate ways because y'all had your own healing to do. And people don't understand. Sometimes you got to break away to heal separately so that way you can actually see what your problem is. Because if you still stay with the person, you're going to always blame them for what your actions are and what you get yourself into. Like an escape goat. No. That's why spirit broke that up. That's why it's an unfinished symphony. 
we need to let each other go. Yeah, yeah that's just, your, your person is just talking because they got lips. You know? You, they We need to let each other go. How if you still paying, you still living rent free in their head? They can't even get you off their mind. They can't get you off their mind. They can't stop thinking about you. And the things they want to do to you? Ravish you. Ra ra ravish? That's some old... Per oh, an old person would say ravish you. They want to ravish you. I, I get it, though. Find out, Finding out the truth crushed me. Yeah, what they found out about some, whatever they've been through crushed them. What they found out about whatever they've been through crushed them. And thank you, Sag. Please subscribe to my channel. Like and subscribe. I will be posting regularly. If you like my vibe, please continue to be part of my healing family. You know, I want to change people's perspective on how they view situations, trials and tribulations, burdens. Try to give them a better understanding from that person's point of view plus yours. So you can be well equipped with all the evidence to make your own judgment. But have a good one and enjoy your weekend. Thank you.